Greetings from my dear aspirants. Our YouTube channel in S academics competitions and this exams as also for enrichment of knowledge. Let us see what we have for you in the 16th video on current affairs in which we shall cover the second fortnight of August 2023. The first of its kind global summit on traditional medicine organized by WHO, the World Health Organization and co-hosted by the Ministry of Ayush was held in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. This was on August 17-18-2023. In the year 2022, WHO established the Global Centre for Traditional Medicine at Damnagar, Gujarat in collaboration with the Government of India and that is the logo of the Global Centre. And do you know what is Ayush? Ayush is the Ayurveda Yoga and Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy traditional medicine which is practiced in our country and other places around the world. Based on auction sale for their works, Purun India Art List 2023 has placed Anish Kapoor as top artist of fifth consecutive year. Arpita Singh, renowned painter from New Delhi, maintained the second place, followed by Jogen Chaudhary, figurative artist, securing third place, Gulam Mohammed Sheikh at fourth place, and the youngest. 26-year-old Raghav Bhakar at 5th. These names are important for your general knowledge questions on the art list. The first of its kind in India and South Asia street circuit has been launched by Racing Promotions Private Limited, RRPL and Tamil Nadu government in yes. In the three and a half kilometer track encompasses the island grounds, Victory War Memorial, and the Napier Bridge. The circuit will hold events like the Formula 4 Indian Championship and the Indian Racing League, featuring both Indian and international drivers. India's first 3D printed post office building has been inaugurated in Bengaluru. 3D printing technology was used in the post office building with technical know-how from IIT Madras and Larsen and Chudro. And it took 43 days, just 43 days to complete the post office building. This is the picture. FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 was won by Spain in the final. It registered a historic victory by defeating England 1-0. Spain has become the world champion for the first time. The only goal was scored by Olga Carmona for Spain in the 29th minute of the game. The victorious team. A new variety of lotus flower with 108 petals is named Namo 108. It has been developed by the National Botanical Research Institute NBRI Lucknow. Flowers of NBRI Namo 108 variety of lotus bloom from March to December every year. The lotus with 108 petals was discovered several years ago in Manipur and this is a picture of the Namo 108. We must always remember the botanical name of lotus because it is our national flower 
and the botanical name is Nilambium fair. Mr. Ashwini Vaishnav, Minister of Railways, Communications, Electronics and Information Technology has been appointed as the first Chancellor of the Kati Shakti Vishwavidyalaya Vadodara Gujarat, India's first university in the transportation and logistics sectors by the President of India. A central university, it was formerly the National Rail and Transportation Institute. So that is the building. India's 18-year-old Grand Master R. Pragnananda created history by becoming the youngest player to reach Test World Cup final. He defeated Fabiano Caruana in tiebreak in the semi-final of the FIDE World Cup 2023. He also became the second Indian after Vishwanathan Anand to reach the finals in the Chess World Cup history. Although he could not win the finals and world number one, Magnus Carlsen clinched the final in the tiebreak. Yet it is a great achievement for an Indian. So this is the logo of the FIDE World Cup which was held in Azerbaijan and these are the two stalwarts. Science payloads on Chandrayaan-3, Lander R, radio anatomy of moon-bound hypersensitive ionosphere and atmosphere, Ramba, Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment, Chest, instrument for lunar seismic activity, INSA, laser retro reflector array, rover, LRA rover, Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer APXS Laser Induced Breakdown Spectroscope LIPS Propulsion Module and Spectropolarimetry of Habitable Planet Earth Shape So this, I hope you all know this Yes, the lander the 69th National Film Awards were declared recently. Let us see the category and the winner. Best Feature Film, Rocketry. Best Director, Nikhil Mahajan for Godavari. Best Popular Film, Providing Wholesome Entertainment, RRR. Nergis Dutt Award for Best Film on National Integration, The Cashman Files, Best Actor, Alu Arjun for Kushpa, Best Actress, Alia Bhatt for Gangu Bhai Katiawadi, and Kriti Senon for Mimi, Best Supporting Actor, Pankaj Tripathi for Mimi, Best Supporting Actress, Pallavi Joshi for The Cashman Files, Best Child Artist Bhavin Rabari for the Cello Show. Three Indians Neeraj Chopra, DP Manu, and Kishore Jaina. Neeraj Chopra, DP Manu, and Kishore Jaina. They advanced to the final of the javelin throw event in the World Athletics Championships 2023. The trio have etched their name in history books as it is the first time three Indian athletes have qualified for the final at the World Athletics in a single event. We have called the successful soft landing of Chandrayaan 3 on moon's surface the dawn of new India. Women scientists played a key role in Chandrayaan 3. He gave the point of landing the name Shiv Shakti Point. The welfare of people is our supreme commitment and August 20, 
3, 2023 will be celebrated every year as the National Space Day to mark Chandrayaan 3 landing on the moon. The point where Chandrayaan 2 crash landed five years ago has also been honored and has been named Chiranga. All these words you must remember for your forthcoming exams. In the 15th BRICS summit held under South Africa's chairship in Johannesburg on 23rd August 2023, the PM called for a strengthened BRICS and for which he coined these words for the BRICS B, breaking barriers, R, revitalizing economies, I, inspiring innovation, C, creating opportunities, and S, shaping the future. According to the University of Chicago's Energy Policy Institute, EPIC, the latest air quality life index, the world's most polluted country is Bangladesh. And we need not be happy because Bangladesh is followed by India, Nepal, Pakistan and Mongolia as the most polluted nations in the world. Before I close, the World Sanskrit Day is celebrated globally on 31st August. This brings us to the end of our video on current affairs for the second fortnight of August 2023. Keep revising while we prepare the next video, which will be for the first fortnight of September to be uploaded soon. Please subscribe, like, share, and do press the bell icon.